You see, we got the two piece door frame taken apart. I got the hinge piece already in. And looking at the top, it's not level. So, this is the part you want to get right, right off the bat. So, it's high on the left side. And the only thing holding it up is this front piece of trim. It needs about an eighth of an inch taken off of it. We'll do that real quick and we'll be right back. Here we just use the oscillating tool and a couple of shims to protect the floor. Run the oscillating tool across the bottom of the trim. It took an eighth of an inch off. Now I can see. I don't know if you can see that. We're dead level. Now we can start leveling this, squaring this door. Make it plumb. We'll go through and take one screw out of the center of each hinge. And we'll put a three inch screw back in its place. And put shims behind it. We'll move the door, center of the door in the opening. And shim, and only wanna, we only wanna plumb this side. And we get it perfectly straight with the shims in it, then we'll worry about the rest of the frame. Let me get set up for that and I'll be right back. We've got our three inch screws in. And now we'll put shims behind each one and make it plumb. I'll go through and put these shims in and then we'll see what's special about our six foot level. Now, this level is plumb all the way down to the bottom. And what's special about this particular level, it's not an expensive level, it's a Stanley, but it has magnets everywhere that there's a hinge. So when you want to true up your door, stick it to the hinges, and you can see where you're at. Now, next I want to hang the door and put the hinges in, and then we'll do the striker side. Be right back. Now that we get the door up with the hinge pins back in, we can look and see if we've got our 1 8 inch all the way around. And we do, it's square across the bottom, square up and down each jam. The problem with manufactured doors is no matter how perfect your floor is or how perfect your wall is, there's still something going to be off. And in the case of this door, We've got each side the same height, the bottom, everything's true. All of our gaps are right. Still, the hole is just a tiny bit off here. We could have compensated for that by dropping the left side down. But doing that, we would have also made the door out of square. So we can fix this here when we install the latch. Now we'll have to go and put our nails in this piece of casing to keep it in place before we go back and put our shims behind it. I use the cordless gun.
Now we've got our gap established, our door swing. Make sure we're not tilted one way or the other. Now we go back inside and shim the back side of this casing. If this were an entry door, we'd shim this solid. Then we would install three inch screws on the latch plate. That way it couldn't be pulled out of the jam. Since this is a closet, we'll go with the factory screws. It won't be a problem. I've said many times in the past, never use a cheap doorknob. And I preach this to everyone that I work for. But this time I'm working on my own home. And instead of buying a quality doorknob, I went with something, well, generic, and that's rounded, that's square. We all learned a long time ago that square pegs don't fit in round holes. So what I'm going to do is modify it. I'm not going to cut the door because this is for any standard lock set except the one that I bought. I'm going to round these edges off on both of them so they'll fit. We're able to get that doorknob in. It doesn't fit great. I had a belt sander handy so I clipped the corners off. But it's too narrow anyway that it's not made to fit this door. But that's get what you pay for. I bought a cheap product. And you get cheap results. This one fit a lot nicer. I just rounded the corners a little. Fit okay. Now we gotta come inside, trim these shims off, put a few shims on this side, put some nails in the case, just a couple, and then we'll put the inside trim on. Now, we slid the second half of the trim inside, nailed it up, everything fits nice. trimmed all the way around. On to the next one.